Welcome back everyone for another video on Genshin Impact And uh, today I decided that uh, I would give some more love to again a unit that I think is underrated And uh, the little board that we will follow today is uh, Kaya Kaya, um, if we follow some tier list right now, is um, he's like a C tier character And you know, you know if you've been following me, uh, I love using like trash tier character and trying to build him up and I think uh, there's a good reason to play Kaya nowadays. There's a couple of things that can uh, improve his kit and we'll look into that today. And uh, I think uh, I can do a decent amount of damage with this uh, big boy right there. And the build I will show is uh, kind of the build that I think is the best. There's, there might be better build, but uh, this is what I'm using today and I think it's pretty good. So, right from the get go, we'll uh, look into the weapon. Uh, I decided to use uh, the weapon that we got uh, not so long ago from the event. Um, for two things. First, it's a four-star weapon, and uh, if you did the, the full event, it's uh, refined uh, at uh, rank five. It does give uh, crit damage and crit rate, and it's kind of going to be the whole team of today. Uh, crit rate and uh, crit damage. Uh, that's uh, what will look the most in uh, his build today. Um, after that, we got energy recharge, which is going to be really fun because... I kind of looked into like energy recharge uh, like the most when I, it come to building this character just because I wanted to like queue as much as I could and have my queue ready like every single time I, I could. Second piece that's really fucking important, the set. Uh, so I've been a, a big uh, fan of like having two a uh, set of two piece with a character that's why I build in general with uh, especially a DPS character I like having um, like the gladiator set uh, two piece and like whatever element I've got uh, as a two piece. So what would build in general would be the cryo two piece and like the gladiator two piece just maximize my damage as much as I can. But for Kaya, it's a little bit different. Uh, I think the four piece set is uh, what really makes uh, Kaya shine uh, in general right now. So as you can see, the four piece set is. Uh, Really really fucking good. So what it does is that when a, an opponent is affected by cryo It does give you 20% crit rate, which is insane. Not gonna lie crit rate 20% insane. I, I don't even know why this is so fucking high. It's insane and after that you get another additional 20% crit rate if the enemy is frozen that means that um, Just for having this set if you freeze a character it definitely means that he's cryo too. Uh, you will get 40% crit rate, which enable Kaya to have a very low uh, crit rate build and still be able to do a shit ton of damage. With having a lot of like crit rate uh, on your artifact and having a lot of crit rate on your weapon, uh, you don't need a lot of crit rate, and you can just um, just go straight up for the crit damage and uh, just maximize uh, the crit rate. On this bad boy sadly um, I don't have the best artifact uh, I was not so lucky with my, my crit uh, damage on my artifact I know you can get a lot of crit damage right now I'm at 116 it could be so much better uh, I'm running a uh, Kaya at 54 percent crit rate I do think you can run him like way lower when it comes to crit rate and uh, the reason why is that you get even more crit rate when you look at his constellation. So I don't really talk often of uh, people's constellation because I like to assume that most people tend to have character uh, C0. But the thing with Cat is that his best constellation when it comes to this build is constellation 1, 2, and 3. So it's not that crazy to think that you can get a constellation 1, 2, and 3, even for a free to play uh, person. Uh, right now, I'm running him at Constellation 1, but I'll tell you why Constellation 2 and 3 is really important. So, Constellation 1, again, running with the team of this build, crit rate. Uh, it does give more crit rate to normal and charge attack, which is going to be nice if you use Kaya as a main DPS, which is what we're going to do today. And after that, Constellation 2 uh, gives uh, more duration to uh, the... Um, the, the Q or the burst of uh, Kaya, which is really nice because we're gonna burst 100% of the time. We're gonna try to like burst as much as we can. And if we add Constellation 2, 
it would be just a constant burst all the fucking time. Especially since we have a lot of energy recharge. So after that, the third constellation, again, so fucking useful. Uh, it's a um, plus three level to is E. And is E, as you probably already know, it's gonna do a lot of fucking damage. Because um, we get plus 32% of crit damage on a skill. So it's it's gonna it's gonna do a decent amount of damage. So if you can get more damage on his E, you can easily get like pretty nice number when it comes to like Kaya. Right now, um, I do have uh, his talent like not max up, but pre I eight eight seven. But if I add this to like eleven, that would be like a lot of damage. We're looking at. 306% of scale damage right now. I haven't looked into the scaling really, but I think it would be something along the line of like 360% of uh, scale damage, which would give us like an additional like 60% of damage. And I think that's really fucking strong. So this is a work in progress. If I had constellation two, it would be really nice. Uh, actually constellation three. All right, so we went over uh, weapon, constellation, talent, but when it comes to like Artifact uh, when it comes to the the stat and the substat um, I was not Super lucky. So basically what you really need is the 4p set. So yeah, what I would recommend really is to have the 4p set on uh, the flower uh, the fair the hourglass and the goblet Because what I run with the goblet is just straight up attack, which is easy to get and after that um, Attack again, it's easy to get and uh, the the main set with the, the fair and um, the flower doesn't really matter. As long as you have decent subset, you're good to go. Uh, this is not why I did, just because I did have a gladiator piece that was really, really nice. I do have 21% of crit damage, which I think is really cool. Um, after that, you want to try to have as much crit damage as you can. I went for a lot of energy recharge, as you already know. So uh, energy recharge, 22%, massive right there. Um, I think I have more energy recharge, uh, crit damage on every single piece, that's for sure. Um, energy recharge here, 15%, amazing. Um, again, crit damage. Uh, I would like maybe to try to get a piece where I get more um, like crit damage on this one. But at the same time, like every single substat is something that I really like on Kaya. Like even Elemental Mastery is pretty good. Um, and the last piece is what I think you should uh, try to have as an off piece. Because I think you should try to get crit damage. I currently have crit rate. But I was really lucky with this piece. So I kept it. Uh, I do have like 21% of crit damage. Uh, as a substat, so it's it's pretty nice it, uh, energy recharge again and like attack. I think this um, this artifact is pretty good, even though the main stat is not really what I want. So I'm alright with this. But if you were to build your Kaya, I think you should try to find like crit damage here and there, and just get as much crit damage. And again, another reason why I think you shouldn't try to have like any crit rate is because if you have two ice character uh, the elemental resonance will give you again crit rate against opening that are frozen or affected by cryo which is gonna be all the fucking time with Kaya let's be honest so uh, if I were to have like two um, electro character I would get even more uh, crit rate so you really don't fucking need like any kind of crit rate uh, that's not what I'm gonna get uh, today. I'm not gonna go with the, the elemental resonance with two ice character. The reason why is that uh, I think I will benefit a little bit more from having two uh, fire character. I'm just gonna get some straight up attack. Yeah, I'm gonna get uh, two fire character, but you should definitely try to have two ice character. Obviously, when it comes to building your character, um, you already know you need. Uh, to have people frozen for the 4P set of the artifact. So uh, you definitely need a water character, regardless of who that, uh, who that is. I will use Barbara because Barbara was free and I don't have a whole lot of water character. Uh, but you can, I guess, get pretty much any kind of hydro character. 
as long as you can apply hydro once a while uh, you're pretty much good to go all right let's test a little bit uh, the damage that I've got with okay yeah I'm gonna keep uh, kitchen and facial for now but when it's gonna come to uh, the abyss later on when we're gonna try to do some big boy damage I'm gonna switch those two for some pyro character um, I'm just gonna use fish a little bit and then there you go see he ain't moving he ain't motherfucking moving perma frozen we're good to go and now my Q or my burst is uh, down but as soon as it's up I can use it again And we're doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, could have been a little bit better. Uh, just that he has a shield, so my damage was not the greatest there. Uh, let's try to do a boss, and then we'll move on to the abyss. All right, we'll do the the power one. Let's see how it goes. Again, we'll keep kitchen and facial, but um, yeah, it's gonna help a little bit with the energy recharge, so might as well. Uh, Got a pop facial for funzy and then ah uh, big boy damage it's pretty good we're doing a decent amount of damage uh Kia is not the craziest when it comes to burst damage but he's doing decent constant damage that is pretty good i think it's pretty pretty all right okay got big boy damage again coming up soon we just have to down him a little bit you know what? We can we can just use the burst in the ear. Even if he's not down, we we're doing a decent amount of damage. Not gonna lie. Okay. There you go. So obviously, when they're not frozen, I'm not doing that much damage just because I don't have like 100% crit rate. I'm actually not gonna use that. Uh, Alright, so we're doing a little bit to floor 11. Uh, the reason why is that I'm still not done clearing it. I'm still working on my second team. But uh, I'm gonna showcase a little bit my first team. Which, um, as you know already, uh, there's Bennett and uh, Xiang Ling. I needed some Pyro character. Um, Bennett is pretty much just there for moral support. <laughs> He's gonna queue in once in a while. But um, yeah, Bennett is not really level up. so. He's there, but it's not gonna do an awful lot. Uh, Xiangling, I'm, I'm gonna use her, that's for sure. So, Xiangling, a Q, a burst, give me a little bit of damage. Uh, and then, you know what? I need some big boy damage. Oh my god! I, I just did like 16k, it's insane. I wish I had the um, the burst of Bennett's ready. There you go. There you go. We're getting some big boy damage again. 15k. So fucking beautiful. Big boy damage right there. A beautiful I like what I'm seeing not gonna lie we'll use that uh, I don't need Bennett I don't know what I'm doing uh, I need to heal actually Ooh, ooh, no 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 this is not going well okay whatever no no healing for me fuck healing what are you ah okay I wanted the little pepper on the floor, but uh, I guess it didn't happen. Whatever. All right, that's good. Um, come on, let's go, let's go. Give me the energy, bitch. There you go. All right, we'll do uh, chamber two, uh, just for funsy. Um. Just so I can showcase a little bit more of the 
the sweet ass Kaya. How are the, the the best buff ever? I think I'll just go with this one. We'll just do another chamber for Frenzy. We're only doing chamber two just because really I'm having our time clearing it with the second team. So we'll focus just on the first team, and uh, yeah, when I will be able to clear the the whole floor eleven, I'll probably do a video on floor twelve. Anyway, that's a uh, to be seen at a certain point. Okay, let's let's do this uh, bullshit. 17! 17! I don't need this boy. I don't need fucking Bennett in my team. Well, I need him, but I mean... Why am I not getting the energy here? What the fuck is happening? There you go. Give me the energy. There you go. You ain't touching the motherfucking monolith. It ain't motherfucking happening. Fuck off. Oh my god. These fucking people just hugging the living shit out of the monolith. It's insane. Jesus. I don't even know how people do like this motherfucking floor with 3 star. It's insane. The best I was able to do is like 1 star. Motherfucker, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not, it's not my best performance when it comes to like saving the monolith. But you can see I'm doing a decent amount of damage. By a decent amount, I mean like a really decent amount. Like a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, choo -choo. Vaporize a little bit. There we go. Yeah, the monolith's not having a good time. But I am. If it was just straight up killing me people, my cat would be like having like the time of his life. <laughs> but when it comes to like saving people, he's not the best, not gonna lie. I'm doing so much damage. It's insane. I love Kaya. Like, I'm so sold on fucking Kaya right now. Holy shit. That, okay. 53%. 53%. Oh, that's good. Technically, if I only lose another 47% with my other team, it gives me a good 6% of leeway. That's good enough. If I could get that, that would be amazing. But I'm still working on my second team. In the meantime, if you like this video, if you like the little Kaya build that I had today, uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe. It does help for the algorithm not to be mad at me. And yeah, on this note, peace!